I'm back here to tell you another story. This story is a story Jesus told. In this story, there is a farmer. And this farmer owns a field. Wow, look, it's so big. So, as I'm playing around one day, I notice the farmer is planting seed. Some seed he scatters falls on the pathway. And the birds eat it up. Oh, I'm just going to have a peck. Yum, yum. And some seed falls where the rocks are. And they start to grow into plants. But the ground isn't good for growing. And the plants wither and start to die. Oh dear. And then some seeds fall where there are thorns. And look, the plants are starting to grow. But the thorns are growing too. And they sort of eat up the plants. Oh, that's not good. And then some seeds fall into the good soil. And in this soil, the plants are growing well. So I go home and the next week come back. And then the next week come back. And then the next week come back and they are fully grown. Wow! So tall! And what's amazing is there's more than was planted. So, then I heard Jesus say, He who has ears to hear, let him hear. And then I learnt there's a meaning to this story. That's why it has a special word, a parable. It's a parable. Parable. And this is the meaning. The seed is the word God speaks to us and people respond in different ways. The people on the path, they hear God speak, but then they ask questions. Is it true? The people who are like the seed planted near the rock. They are first happy to follow God. But then when things get, get hard, they give up. And the people who are like the seed planted by the thorns, they start to follow God. But then they do other things which are not what God says to do. And the people who are like the good ground, they listen to God and they follow God and keep following him. And they, and they are like these very tall plants. Hmm. So, that's the story of the farmer who planted seed, or rather the parable of the farmer. I hope you enjoyed it. Bye!